On 30th May 2024, something interesting happened. Israel announced a massive victory. Reason. IDF had gained control over the crucial Philadelphia corridor. Israel now controls the land. One of the reasons the latest round of ceasefire talks failed is Israel's refusal to withdraw its forces from the Philadelphia Corridor. But what is the Philadelphia Corridor? The Philadelphia or Salahedin Corridor is a 14 kilometers long narrow strip along the Gaza Strip's border with Egypt. It serves as a buffer zone as per the Israeli-Egyptian Camp David Treaty of 1979, acting as a dividing line between Palestine and Egypt. Following the treaty, Israel maintained control over the corridor until 2005, when Palestinians reclaimed authority of Gaza. Almost 20 years later, why is the Philadelphia Corridor, again, a bone of contention? Let's find out. Bodies of six hostages who had been alive until last week were just recovered. And this has sparked a huge outcry. Local media outlets have reported multiple times since May 2024 that Mossad has urged Israel to temporarily withdraw from the Philadelphia Corridor if that would bring back between 18 to 30 hostages. The Jerusalem Post and other outlets have also reported that Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant and the IDF High Command favor a deal, including temporarily withdrawing from the corridor to get some of the hostages back. However, reports have also claimed that Mossad director David Barney supported Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's position not to withdraw from the corridor. Netanyahu is under the greatest domestic pressure in Israel to compromise. Israeli defense establishment looks split, even though IDF wants the Mossad on its side, so they can present a united professionals front versus a political front. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reportedly told Defense Minister Yov Gallat on August 29 that he was prioritizing his stance of maintaining Israeli troops in the Philadelphia Corridor over saving the lives of the remaining hostages in Gaza. The stance was shared during a heated security cabinet meeting during which Netanyahu had the top ministerial body vote to approve a series of maps drawn up by the IDF. The maps show how Israel aims to keep its troops deployed in the nine-mile narrow stretch of the Philadelphia Corridor during the first six-week phase of the hostage ceasefire being negotiated. According to a transcript from the meeting leaked to Channel 12 a day later, on August 30, the ministers had not been briefed before the meeting that they would be holding a vote on the IDF maps. Gallant demanded to know why it was necessary. A fuming Netanyahu, then banged his hands on the table, demanding an immediate vote on his Philadelphia maps. Meanwhile, Mossad spy agency director David Barney retorted saying there was no logic to this vote, as currently the negotiations were focused on other issues and not on the Philadelphia corridor. In conclusion, an agitated gallant told Netanyahu that the Israeli prime minister will eventually have to give in to Hamas chief Yahya Sinwar's demands, no matter what. The takeover of the Philadelphia Corridor is a strategic turning point in the campaign in Gaza. It can be said, without exaggeration, that the Philadelphia Corridor was Hamas' strategic depth, city of refuge, and granary, all at the same time. It was the central anchor for everything within the Hamas administration in the Gaza Strip. As long as it was active, the Philadelphia Corridor and the area adjacent to it would function as Hamas city of refuge. Now, the faucet is turned off. In short, Israel's occupation of the corridor has far-reaching implications for Hamas survival. Senior Israeli officials had set control of the Philadelphia corridor as a military objective. Hamas had dug tunnels beneath the strip, some wide enough for trucks, according to military experts, and used them to smuggle weapons and personnel into Gazan territory. Unless the tunnels were blocked, Hamas could rebuild its military capacity after the war. 
Reports and experts claim that this is one of the biggest reasons why. Hamas wants it back, and Israel won't give it back, even if that means sacrificing some Israeli hostages. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to Mirror Now.